Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this Butterflies and Bugs series and we have our final butterfly to do today and I need to remember that I promised you that I would do a green one. <laughs> so we'll do a green butterfly today. I don't know if green butterflies exist. Oh, actually I'm lying. I do. I have seen, let's just pop something down on the page. Here we go. I've seen a very a photograph of a really lime, limey coloured butterfly. We may not do that, but we're going to start with the body and I'm not going to do a bluey green because we've got a bluey green bug. I'm going to use some different greens. So I'm going to do a brownish grey body, which I think will match better. Oh, we could do a brown body. We did that yesterday and I was really pleased, so maybe I will. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a brown body. So let's start with the walnut brown. I think brown and green are nice together. So let's do it again. I really liked yesterday's, so we'll see what I can come up with today. I hope you did too. Now, I usually do the head and the antenna same colour. I think I will do that again. There we go. And this is going to be my darkest colour. I think I'm going to do these in this colour. These are the eyes, aren't they? They need to stand out because butterflies have these to try to scare away predators. Right, so there is our dark. I might actually, while I think about it, I know I'm dotting about a bit, I'm going to use my black to do the centre of those because I think if they're supposed to be eyes, then they would have this sort of pupil. Is that the right word? Yeah, in the middle. So I'm, it's quite dark, but it's okay. And leave that there and then go back to our body. I'm sorry, jumping about a little bit. And we'll go a bit lighter, perhaps. What have we got here? We'll use the um, raw umber, I think, to do our next bit. It's a bit lighter. Let's see how it goes. If it's too light, I might go over it. But I shall try it for now. Johanna's drawn a lot of lines on the top, which I'm going to go over a bit and then make this bit lighter. So I'm just going to layer it up around the top and edge and a little bit on the bottom like that and then I'm going to do the stripes down here I'm going to leave that one I'm going to make it stripy I don't know if butterflies have stripy bodies but that's how I want to cover it because I know they have these little sections but whether they're all the same color or not I don't know but I think a stripe can make it look rather nice and I'm going to use a colour quite close I think rather than going dark and get it out of my tray um, I'm going to use the Bista so it is a different tone it will look different but it's not as dark as the um, one we used the what was it we used the uh, walnut sorry I'm going to try like with this one make it a little darker there Dark around the edge, a bit lighter in that centre part. And here, a bit lighter towards the middle. And the end there, just lighter in the centre. There we go. Now, <coughs> green. I quite like, you know how I was saying this sort of olive green? I'm quite keen on that idea. I'm going to grab the chromium green opaque to start with. Here it is. And do this sort of outside part here. So I'm going to just fade it towards the tip of the wing. So more layers there, just less as we go down. It's quite dark. I purposely picked a dark colour for this bit. Sorry, I'm shadowing the page. 
um, I'm going to have to put my hand that side anyway, um, because it's sort of almost like framing it at the top. And then we'll use some slightly lighter colours for this stripy bit. My neighbour is making a noise. He does, he was telling me he sometimes makes soup. And I'm wondering if what I can hear is a blender. But he also does loads of DIY. Earth green yellow, so it could be like a drill or an electric screwdriver or a sander. could be anything really. I should message him and ask him what he's doing. <laughs> if I see him, I ask him, but uh, I don't. I don't do that on Messenger. Now I'm doing the same here by building up the layers nearer the top and putting less towards the bottom of the wing. I just feel that's how it would be, but um, I've got no idea to be honest. If you think that it will be di different, then you know you can do it differently. Like that on the same. And then this little one tucked in here. How are we doing for time? We're okay. Sorry, I'm not. It's not because of the length of the video. It's because um, I've got to go out. But I want to finish this page first. I should be absolutely fine. I need to go and see, talk to my boy before his online class starts. Though. That's okay. I've got plenty of time to do that. This is the May Green. I'm going to use that for the other stripe in here. Now these olive greens are some of my favourite greens, but you won't see them in a butterfly. More likely to see um, the sort of, I would think, normally see um, orange. I see orange tip butterflies which are white with just a tiny bit of orange on the edge of the wing. It's a very hard colour. Um, what else do I see? see common blues a lot and the meadow browns um, tortoiseshell and peacock occasionally in monarchs which were apparently rare I'm just layering this up a bit because I wanted to look different to this one so it's a bit more vibrant They're really similar colors as you can see now I am going to use the permanent green olive next which I'm just sharpening I think it looks rather like a camouflaged um, Spitfire with those uh, target things on the wings that they have. <laughs> now again I'm going to fade down to the here and the same on this one. Yeah so what happens in I did see a great um, caterpillar once. It was an elephant nose caterpillar. Well, it's a, a, a caterpillar for an elephant nose moth. I don't think the moths looked, the, but the, it was just, it really did. It was amazing. And I'm going to use the chromium green opaque for that centre stripe. Yeah, it was an amazing um, caterpillar. I see lots of really, really fluffy ones that are striped. Um, at certain times of the year along the canal path eating all the um, plants along the side um, but I don't know what they are I'm not good at identifying them now this bottom part I want to be darker I'm going to use um, um, yeah I'm going to use that walnut brown that we used at the beginning and just block it in We have some. I was a friend of mine said they sometimes walk along the canal path on summer evenings when it's dark. Now I wouldn't do that because you're so close to the water. I might go in the water, but I assume if you use a phone torch, probably or any torch, you'd probably be okay. But still, maybe I'm too cautious. I'm going to grab my black now and put a bit of shadow in along the side of the body, between the wings, that sort of thing. She said there are lots of glowworms. Along the canal path, along the canal, imagine. Never seen a glow worm. I didn't think we even got them in this country, but apparently we do. It's quite amazing. So now I'm just going to go around the edge of the body. I think that would 
be quite something to see. But the thing is, for it to be warm enough for them to be out and for you to be out, it'd have to be quite late for it to be dark, you know. I'm just thinking about putting a little bit in there and there. It's going over those lines. Some people like the black lines to disappear. For me, I don't mind. Just go over them. Right, time for white pen, I think. Now, there's lots of dots on top of areas that I've coloured really lightly, and I'm a little bit cautious of that, whether that it would even show up. I'm trying to put a white dot in the middle of the eye. I don't know whether it would have one, but I think it um, looks better with one. I'm going to put some dots down that one, just to brighten it up a little bit. Because although I like these olives, they're nice and warm, they're not very um, bright and cheerful. So, a few dots. And, oops. There we go, and we've brightened it up a little bit. I rather like the colour of the body actually, I think it looks almost bronzy, which is nice. But there we are, there's our last butterfly. So I hope that was okay for you. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that you have a really good day, and come back tomorrow please for the very last one. But for now, yes, have a lovely day and happy colouring.